Hey guys, what's up? Darcy here at Six Strings Nine Lives, back for a CD vinyl update. Um, Easter weekend is upon us right away, so I'm gonna get a little hectic around here, so I thought I'd better squeeze this video in right now. Um, I was watching a video from Mark G with a C probably about three weeks ago, and he showed a band that I just, I instantly fell in love with these, uh, these guys. Part of the new wave of traditional heavy metal, um, I uh, YouTubed a song called Undying Evil and that's what did it for me. Fantastic track from these guys. I'm talking about Enforcer. Um, this one is called From Beyond. This is just, just classic, traditional, old school sound. Uh, this is Enforcer's fourth album. Uh, 2015 release on Nuclear Blast Records. Uh, they have a new album coming out here right away on April 26th. I pre-ordered that. It is called uh, Zenith. Um, the hype sticker on on here. I'm going to read this to you because it is it fits. 100% uh, Swedish heavy classic heavy metal for fans who uh, worship new uh, new wave of British heavy metal. Accept Judas Priest, Iron Maiden. Absolutely, um, you will love this. Um, just great tracks on here. Destroyer, Undying Evil, One With Fire. <clears throat> just, I love when you have a, a, a new band that sounds old, if that makes any sense. And Enforcer definitely is in that category. You know, bands like um, Cauldron, Striker, Enforcer, and another band I'll show you right away after I show you this one. I picked up Enforcer's third album also, Death by Fire. Just just as uh, good as uh, uh, From Beyond. This is their third album and second release from Nuclear Blast. Um, just great album. Uh, YouTube, Mesmerized by Fire. Uh, just fantastic track, my favorite track from this album. Uh, these guys do have two other albums. Their debut is called Into the Night and um, Second album is called Diamonds, released on Earache Records. I'm looking for those for sure now. Uh, love it. And I had mentioned uh, this band before. Uh, and, uh, you know, I learned th this band basically from watching Kevin, uh, War God 60s channel. He's like, he's like the haunt superstore of the music community. Uh, he loves this band, and I do too. So I had to pick this up on vinyl. I've shown it on CD, but... It came up on Amazon, a uh, pretty good price, and I just had to have it. This is released on Shadow Kingdom Records. Uh, just classic, old school feel artwork. Uh, a matte finish, well done, Shadow Kingdom. The vinyl is uh, a splatter, really, uh, really a nice splatter too. Let's take that out. We've got an orange, red, and black splatter. There is the uh, track listing and then a custom label on this side. I do have their EP on CD, Luminous Eyes, and I've pre-ordered their newest album called uh, If Icarus Could Fly. Uh, Kevin already has that. He's shown that. Uh, I think he was part of that Bandcamp pre-order. Um, just the shipping from the States to Canada. I'll, I usually just wait for Amazon. You save quite a bit of money. Uh, great insert here. It's uh, just solid, really thick paper. And it's got the lyrics printed on here. You'd never be able to read those. But from what I have of, uh, well, in which isn't much from Shadow Kingdom Records, but wow, they do it upright. These uh, kind of remind me of you know like high roller records they really do it do it upright too this poster comes with it so that's pretty cool um next up what do i have here to show you my fifth blind guardian album tales from the twilight world <clears throat> excuse me this is um probably one of my favorites so far, the five that I do have. This is with that, those reissues again, where it's the remix and the original two CD set with a great booklet inside too. If you're into booklets and, and the whole setup of that, and this is a well done digi pack, uh, dual disc. I, I do enjoy the remix a little better. 
Uh, there's definitely a sound difference. Um, it's the loudness, but it's not a wall of sound loud. It's just sharper, clearer. I mentioned that before on those other Blind Guardian. But uh, I do have five Blind Guardian now. Um, I'm going to spin those a few more times, and then I'll probably look into some more Blind Guardian. The next two, um, if you are fans of Accept, UDO, Primal Fear, uh, these will be right up your alley. This is ex-guitar player from Accept, Herman Frank. This is his fourth solo album called Fight the Fear uh, with Rick Altsy on vocals. Uh, you also might know Rick from uh, another band called Master Plan uh, with uh, the guitar ex-guitar player from Halloween, Ro Roland Grappau. Um, that's an, another great band too. So, Anyways, these digipacks from AFM Records, uh, I am just slow not slowly I'm, I am becoming a fan of these type of digi pack this it, it's not a it's not glossy it's kind of a matte like it's a not a smooth feel but just very well done the booklet just tucks right in here on the side anyways great album if you are a Herman Frank fan and you know these albums uh, personally I like this one even a little bit better than his last album um, that was a great album too, but this, you know, maybe just because it's fresh in my mind, but uh, I really like, I like uh, this more as a whole album. It has a lot, lot, a lot of great tracks. Another band, Mr. Cloudy Milder, got me into uh, a while back, and I really enjoyed their album before this one called Titan Craft, but I had to pick up the new Iron Savior, Kill or Get Killed. And again, probably because it's fresh, I don't know, but this one just sounds awesome. Like, what a strong album. Um, there's even a cool cover of ACDC's Sin City. Um, you know, I, I love when these kind of bands uh, cover cover bands like an ACDC. Um, you know, they're used to their, their lyrical content versus a, if you know what I mean. Um, anyways, this is released on AFM Records. Uh, another great release from these guys. Uh, Nuclear Blast, AFM Records, these uh, Metal Blade Records, Shadow Kingdom, awesome job. Definitely check out Iron King. I'm uh, sorry, uh, Iron Kingdom, uh, Iron Savior, new album. <clears throat> Picked this up yesterday. Brand new in the shop, uh, sealed uh, on Geffen Records. This is my first album from this band. Um, I hope I got a good one. That is Man of War, Louder Than Hell. Uh, seen these uh, these guys shown quite a bit lately. Um, looking forward to checking this out for sure. There's the back cover. <clears throat> and last but not least, I had to pick up this soundtrack. I really enjoyed the movie. I thought, man, you know, I might as well pick this up, but I haven't even opened it yet. That's Motley Crue, The Dirt soundtrack. Um, I don't even know if I'll open it. Um, I do have all the songs, of course. Uh, I do love Motley Crue. I'm, I'm probably more of a, f for sure, their first two albums. But uh, I think, you know, right up until Dr. Feelgood, after that, um, as far as the Vince Neil era goes, kind of drops off. I do really enjoy the 1994 album from with John Krabi on vocals. But uh, yeah, I don't even know if I'll open this. Might might ship this out to somebody as a gift. Uh, we'll see. But uh, you know, I, I love all the tracks on here. The new stuff, eh, not bad. Um, the song "The Dirt," a lot of harmonizing. You know, we know Vince can't cannot sing like he used to, which is fine. I mean, we're all getting older and stuff like that. But uh, I. Uh, I don't know. It's it's okay the new tracks, but I I, sh I totally enjoy um, all the older stuff for sure. So, guys, uh, you know if you're celebrating Easter, happy Easter um, from my family to your family, from me to you, and until next time, stay heavy. <laughs>